क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस वीडियो वी आर विद द टेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ माइक्रोवेव इंजीनियरिंग द माइक्रोवेव सिग्नल दैट हैज़ बीन जनरेटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ द वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स इसेंशियली मॉडिफाइड टू द माइक्रोवेव ट्यूब्स टाइप्स एंड देन ऑन टू द सेमी कंडक्टर प्लेटफॉर्म नाउ वी हैव द ट्रांसमिशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्ट्रिप लाइन्स एंड इट्स मॉडिफाइड फॉर्म दैट इट इज माइक्रो स्ट्रिप लाइन द कंपेरिजन ऑफ द टू अलॉन्ग विद द इंट्रोडक्शन वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन इन द वेरी फर्स्ट टॉपिक of this particular chapter we have solved selected problems on both strip lines and micro strip line we have derived the formulations for corresponding calculations of characteristic impedance we have also reported the phase velocity or the velocity of propagation i can say now the different forms of the strip lines we are dealing with and just now we are finished with the parallel type of the strip lines so let us have introduction to the another form we have coplanar strip lines here so here we start with our topic coplanar strip lines as the name suggest here we have coplane coplane it means it is the same plane here so in the basic structure of strip line basically we have such a ground plane there this is another ground plane and it is filled with certain dielectric material the relative dielectric constant we represent epsilon suffix r and centrally lying the central conductor we can say the strip line conductor so it has the width w the thickness t here whereas the separation between the two ground planes can be represented by b or sometimes h is also mentioned there now when we get this top ground plane removed so that we have the dielectric up to this level only and this much of structure that i have outlined is basically the micro strip line getting the central conductor which is supposed to have more positive potential and the exact information with respect to the grounded plane here that has been exposed for making suitable interconnections between the various devices that will be processing the signal further there now when we talk about coplanar the plane that it is with respect to the dielectric material and to the ground here is same to the two strips here so better way i can get the help of another schematic that will show you the two strip lines that are coplanar to each other hence the name coplanar strip lines there so this is the schematic diagram so for convenience we take the help of three axes where we have the measurement of z parameter on to this particular axis here whereas x and y are mutually perpendicular to them intersecting into the origin here so this is the three dimensional cross sectional view whereas the signal is propagating towards the positive z direction and as you can see the structure here this is the dielectric substrate that we have represented so for the dielectric substrate we have the permeability denoted by mu suffix d suffix d for dielectric material if it would be mu suffix c it is for the conductive region whereas the permittivity is represented as epsilon suffix d now the change with respect to the previous type of views for the micro strip line strip line is that we have the two strip conductors here so both are mounted on to the dielectric substrate and as we can see out of the two strip conductors one strip conductor is grounded here of course as far as the dimensions are concerned the width of the strip conductor at both the places is equal represented by w here whereas the distance of separation between the two is represented by small s here now what is the use of having this kind of structure in these strip lines that the coplanar strip lines are having certain advantages to have more suitable connections as we have the two strip conductors made available to have the another devices accessible by making the connections there so the efficiency while using this particular type of the transmission line goes on increasing also it reduces cost 
corresponding to the microwave systems that we shall be designing further. Now let us talk with respect to the characteristic impedance. The characteristic impedance in general represented by Z0 for such a type of coplanar strip line is given by the formulation where we have twice in multiplication to P suffix AVG divided by I0 square here. So let us say this is equation number one. In this equation, we have a mention of I0. I write here where the meaning of I0 is the total amount of peak current. And the peak current is flowing through the strip conductor, whereas the mention of P sub X AVG is equal to the average power. This is the average power flowing in the positive Z direction here. So this is the representation of the characteristic impedance Z0. So in this representation, in the numerator that we have represented P sub X AVG, it can be made computed as like P AVG is equal to 1 by 2, the real part obtained for the double integral that has E bar cross of H bar in conjugate in the direction AZ cap into the differentials dx dy here. Let this can be equation number 2 here. So in this representation, we have E representing the electric field vector, whereas H is representing magnetic field vector. So this is basically from the pointings theory where we have the cross product of the directions of electric field and that of the magnetic field. The resultant direction is normal that it is perpendicular to the directions of E and that of the H here. So this was all about with respect to the coplanar type of the strip lines and we have also discussed the corresponding formulation to make computations for characteristic impedance with the help of average power flow in positive z direction here it is the mention of unit vector a z cap so unit vector it is having the unity magnitude but the direction along positive z axis here so by the next lecture we shall be having a simple problem to calculate the various parameters associated with the coplanar strip line there and we shall be continuing further with the same chapter to see the transmission of microwave signal with the help of forms of strip lines and micro strip lines there. So I hope for more information if you need to have the subscription is definitely for the EKIDA channel. Thank you.